Alrighty, so here we go. It is time, it is time to get this RX-8 looking a little bit better. All right, so I spent the last few days rounding up some supplies here. So as you can see, uh, we got, I hopefully, uh, everything that we need to paint the body kit for the Mazda RX-8. So we are trying to do this on a budget. Now I wanted to make sure that it's gonna turn out good, but still kind of do it on a budget. So we went and picked up one of these, the infamous Harbor Freight spray gun. This gun itself is like 15 bucks. Uh, I got it with the regulator because I didn't have a regulator to fit it. So it was like 30 all said and done, but if you already have a regulator, the gun itself is like 15 bucks. And then I stopped over by the guys at Automotive Supply Company and they hooked it up, all right? I was literally like, hey, I'm painting something. I've never painted anything before in my life to this scale. Can you help a guy out? So we were able to source everything we needed. We got the base color, we got the clear coat, uh, we got all the other supplies that we're gonna need to get this done. And I'm really looking forward to it. So the first thing that we need to do here is go ahead and get these things prepped. So we got the over fenders here, we got the side skirts over there. So we're gonna start with the over fenders first. So basically what we're gonna do, these already have some sort of primer on them, but I wanna go over and shoot it with another layer of primer just to make sure that everything is all squared away here and that we got a good uh, foundation to lay everything else on. So first things first, we're gonna scuff these up, we're gonna get the primer laid on it, we're gonna wet sand them down, get these things prepped as much as possible for when we go to lay the actual color down. So. Yes, let's get to it. All right, so I got everything pretty much scuffed up. I got the side skirts cleaned up. I'll show you kind of what we got going on here. So basically, I have this suspended from the ceiling right now. Now we're gonna do a trial on this side skirt. Uh, we got a, as much ventilation and stuff going as we can. But we're gonna try laying some primer on this, see how it takes it, because I'm not sure how it's gonna take it. You know, I scuffed it up as much as I could, got it, I think, as ready as I could. We're gonna try some primer. We're gonna do one side first, see how it goes, just in case, like, something goes wrong, we don't have to deal with two side skirts later. So let's go ahead, lay some primer on this thing. All right, so it's been about 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and lay the second coat of primer. All right, so we're gonna let the primer dry for about an hour or so here. We'll come back and check on it. And then I wanna see um, tonight how it holds up to wet sanding uh, and getting it prepped for paint and all that because if we run into any issues there We'll know what to you know take care of for the other side skirt potentially the over fenders and stuff like that Like I said, I wanted to knock out this one first get it ready as much as I could for paint before we actually lay the paint Just to make sure I'm doing the process right just to make sure I'm not messing anything up and the side skirts I was a little worried about to begin with because the wrap did not want to stick to them originally as well So we'll see how the primer holds up here if it holds up to the wet sanding everything's looking good We'll start on the other parts and then we'll start laying paint. All right, so the next step here is we're gonna go through and wet sand these parts. So we got a thousand grit sandpaper here. We got a little uh, foam block. We got some water here. And basically what we're gonna do is just wet sand down this side skirt because the primer has a little bit of like a fuzzy texture to it. So basically all this thousand grit's gonna do is knock that down, smooth this out as much as possible and get it ready for paint. So as I kind of feared, there were some spots that it just did not take that well. Maybe the primer was a little bit too light in these areas. I know it did get kind of hard to hit uh, under here the way that it was hung, um, but uh, it is what it is. So we'll have to go back and take care of that. Just kind of in some random spots, just like mostly all under here. Um, and then kind of just around some of the edges a little bit, it lifted. Um, which, you know, I guess that's gonna be part of it. Live and learn. We'll just hang this back up, we'll lay another 
couple coats of primer on it and try it again. All right, so second time's a charm. I went through and laid down two to three more coats of primer uh, on these side skirts. I really think that's what it needed. Um, and it turned out a lot better. So I went through, wet sanded the whole thing and it turned out amazing. So this one, pretty much ready for some paint. So this one turned out good. I went down and laid primer on the second side skirt here went and did a lot of extra coats, went through a lot of primer, but I think that's what these things are gonna take. So I have to unfortunately go pick up some more primer because they're pretty much out, but the side skirts are looking good. They're coming out decent. And that was my biggest concern was these side skirts because they've just been such a pain in the butt before with like wrap and everything like that. So they're turning out okay, which I'm happy about. Now we're on to the over fenders. All right, it is officially painting day. We got everything set up. I think we got all the materials that we need. Huge shout out to my buddy Sam uh, for lending me a bunch of his sawhorses and stuff. Uh, I only had these two and I'm like, I'm gonna need a lot more. Luckily, uh, Sam, he painted his 240 last summer, the whole car, uh, and he had a bunch of stuff left over and he was nice enough to let me borrow that. And not only that, give me a ton of tips on stuff um, that I didn't really know about because it was his first time painting stuff too. And he's like, hey, don't do what I did. Don't make these mistakes. Make sure you take this step or here, take this, wipe it down with this, all that sort of stuff. So thank you, Sam. I think it's gonna help a ton. So we got everything set up here. So we have pretty much all of our stuff laid out here. We got all of our paint, we got the clear coat in the back there. We got our prep stuff, our mixing stuff, uh, all that sort of stuff. Here we have the gun, the infamous $15 Harbor Freight spray gun. Now this was actually 30 because it came with a regulator, but the gun itself is about $15. And as here, people can get good results out of this if you take the right steps. So we took as much steps as we possibly could to hopefully get a semi good looking paint job out of this. Like I said, I've never painted something to this scale ever before in my life. The only thing I've used like a uh, spray gun for is like my plastic models and that's just a little airbrush. So this should be an interesting time. So what we got to do now is go over everything a couple times, uh, clean everything up, get everything final prepped for paint. I'm nervous. Well, here we go. I just did a couple like test sprays on here uh, just to kind of dial everything in, just get the feel for everything. Felt okay, I think. I don't know. But uh, I think the side skirts are up first here. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you saw that, um, but I think we saved it. Oh my God. So one of the over fenders, they're, they're just rocking back and forth. I'm like, I can maybe get away with it. The one was fine. This one decided to take a little trip and I grabbed it, but I think it turned out okay. You can't really see where I grabbed it. There wasn't a ton of paint on it to begin with. And I think, I think everything is turning out okay. So we got one coat down on this stuff. What I'm gonna do is probably do these first and then come back and do the other over fenders because it's getting really tight in here and I think I'm gonna need two sawhorses per over fender because they're wobbling like crazy and I don't want them to fall again because that sucked. So we're gonna let this kind of set up, hit it with the second coat. I'm gonna move them around so I can get the other sawhorses on there so they don't fall again. But so far, I'm really happy with how everything's turning out. All right, so things are moving along pretty good here. I rearranged the over fenders so they stopped falling off the freaking sawhorses. And we got two coats on everything except for the last two over fenders here. I just put the first coat on. We're going to wait for that to flash a little bit. And then in the meantime, looking at this stuff, looking pretty dang good. I'm not going to lie. I mean, 
results will tell when we're all wrapped up here and everything. But I'm happy with it. I'm happy with how everything's turning out. These side skirts, all the bases laid. Those two upper fenders, all the base coats laid. Like I said, we just need to spray one more coat on those two. And then uh, on to the next step. All right, so it's been about half hour, 45 minutes, enough time to let the base coat dry to get it where it needs to be to get ready to start laying the clear coat. Now the clear coat is actually where I'm starting to get really nervous because I know that's where things tend to go really wrong really, really quick. Um, but we're just gonna try our best. We're gonna do about three coats or so of the clear coat, three to four coats, depending on how everything's looking. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. Out of the final coat of clear coat. Here we go. And that's a wrap. Well, no, it's paint, but Hopefully, I think we're done. All right, so first thoughts, first impressions, first looks at everything, about what I expected. So by no means was this going to be perfect, but I think it turned out pretty damn good uh, for the tools that I had, uh, for the space that I had, and the knowledge that I had. So I think it turned out pretty good. There's some runs in some places that I think we should be able to wet sand out and buff out eventually, but for the most part, everything looks pretty darn good. There was nothing catastrophically wrong that happened. Um, I think it'll just need some final touches and some extra elbow grease once everything is dry here. So what we're gonna do is let this sit for pretty much the rest of the day. Um, I'm gonna try to get the RX-8 started so we can hopefully maybe pull it over here. Um, but just let everything dry and let it do what it needs to do. And then we'll come back, move stuff around. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna get the garage cleaned up. But I'm super happy with how everything turned out. I think it looks killer. Like I said, we're just gonna have to, you know, spend some more time on some certain areas here, get it looking as good as it can. But for the most part, for my first time painting anything from like start to finish, I think it turned out pretty dang decent. guys we did it we officially painted the body kit for the mazda rx8 i'm so freaking happy with how it turned out obviously like i mentioned before uh, we're gonna need to go through and just kind of buff everything out there's a couple spots that need some attention but overall super stoked with how everything came out it's literally better than i imagined that i could do by myself considering i've never done this before and it looks so good in all black like this is everything that i've wanted it looks so freaking good. Now, if you guys watched the update video of the RX-8 a few weeks ago, you know that there's a lot more things I wanna take care of with this car and that's gonna be coming really soon. So right now we have just one side of the body kit on just because when I was going through and taking everything off, I noticed that a lot of the hardware was like super crusty and I wanna get some better hardware for this and something that's not gonna like mess up the paint on here because like other before it was just like regular like washers that you just get from like a hardware store and they like corroded and they got like nasty um i want to see if i can get some like nicer hardware for this thing um so if you guys know some like hardware recommendations drop them down in the comments below because i'd love to know uh, if any of you guys are running like a specific hardware set that you guys like or would recommend. Plus we have things with the trunk setup that I'd like to get buttoned up uh, for the air suspension. Uh, but overall, this thing is coming together a lot quicker than I thought it would. And this process was like the biggest one to take care of for me personally, uh, because it was just so freaking intimidating. And like I said, 
I cannot be happier with how everything turned out. So thank you guys so much for following along with this process so far. There's a lot more to come in the near future. If you guys are enjoying the RXA content, please don't forget to drop a like on the video, subscribe, drop a comment on what you're liking to see so far. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get some more parts on the way for this thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.